So traditionally speaking,、uh, people have constantly made、uh, the connection between surrealism and dreams.、Uh, earlier, we talked about how the story of Wastelands is inspired by the story of your mother, your own struggles with mental psychosis. But、uh, what about dreams? I mean, do you, are you inspired by your own dreams? I wouldn't say I'm inspired by my own dreams,、uh, but I am inspired by dreams because I believe. Perceptions are funny, a very funny thing, and my perception of the world is completely different from your perception of the world. And I think a lot of film, for example, can be seen as a dream. So I'm a little bit of a fan. I'm a fan of, say, David Lynch, for example, whose films can be categorised as just one big dream that continues. And all of his work is considered probably inside of his own head, created out of a dream. So for me, dreams are a An extraordinary way to to explore human the human condition because it's not you know it's not trapped in the usual framework of the of the, the normal world of of the waking world where we have set rules and regularities that we need to stick by, whereas the dream world is much more open to interpretation and that's really where my work comes in and what I want to try and do with my work that interpretation of the viewer is much more important. Than what I am giving to them on screen, you know, it, it, I've I had my own visions and ideas when I put it on screen, but their interpretation of what I've put on screen is just as important as what I've put on that screen. And I think the dream world helps to kind of allow audiences to kind of decipher film a bit more. So you know, for example, Stanley Kubrick made Eyes Wide Shut, which may be inspired by the dream story. I don't know if you've ever read the book, The Dream Story, but so if you look at Kubrick's work, you could also argue that Kubrick's work is just one big dream, and that's where I think dreams are massively important to the way that I work, because they just allow so much more freedom and so much more interpretation. And really, interpretation is massively important to what I do. I want people to interpret my films however they want to interpret it. You know, even if it's a hateful reaction towards it, that's also fine. I don't mind anyone hating my films because it's a response. It's a reaction. In other words, you don't. The the one thing that you would hate for people to you know respond to the film is just feel ambivalent towards it. Exactly, exactly. That would be the biggest disservice anyone could say to me was that I just you know it was okay, it was all right, I forget it the next day. You know, it, I want people to experience my films and then. You know, experience being the right word, and then afterwards have some kind of reaction. If they hate it, that's absolutely fine because that means that they have an opinion on it. And if they love it, then that's fine because it means they have an opinion on it. 